I'm Alexa McNaught Reynolds and I'm the Conservation Manager for Exhibitions and Loans. So this is a um, painting of a male jabiru that's from about 1820 and it's painted approximately to the size of the bird, so this is actual size, and it's been selected for our exhibition on animals. The designers have um, decided that it should be framed for the display, so it will hang on a wall, um, and I've been doing that preparation. That has entailed finding how best to mount him in a way that he is comfortable, you know, not squashing him into a position that he doesn't want to be in. <laughs> The paper sort of tells a bit of a story. He was folded up and um, secured into a, a book, so he has been stored folded for probably hundreds of years. He will never sit completely flat. I've spent many hours working with him and you know when you're stored in a book there's other vulnerabilities, so he's had some edge damage. Um, and some old repairs. He's got some really interesting tails because you can see on the left hand side there's a big stain that appears somebody has tried to clean off and you can see some foxing as well. And actually because he's been folded we've also kind of got this ghost reflection of him. Um, so his beak is just here. It's kind of like an offsetting. As a conservator I want to preserve it as, as he is now, you know. The cockling and the folds and the, the foxing and the stains that have tried to be um, removed in the past, they all tell a story. It's, um, it's his history and I don't want to disturb that. And especially with the cockling, I can't reduce that without something very interventive, which ethically, you know, we don't want to do that. In conservation, I'm supporting him as he is now because this is his story and that's what we want to show.